आपका स्वागत है आज छह दिन अट्ठाईस शांति आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अव्यक्ति परिवार टुडे इज डे ट्वेंटी वर्थ वाइल वे बिकम एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ सक्सेस टूडे इज टॉपिक इज लिसन बट डू नॉट हियर सी बट डू नॉट सी Adopt such a personality in Brahman life that your energy, time, and thoughts all continue to be used in a worthwhile way. Nothing should be wasted. Do not keep your mind and intellect busy in trivial matters. When hearing things of impurity, do not listen to them. See, but do not see. When something is not connected with you. you see but do not see when walking along the road if you see something with which you have no connection you see it but do not see it you consider it to be a sight seen and just go beyond in the same way whatever you hear whatever you see if it is of no use to you listen, listen but do not hear see but do not see Now we will listen to Mohini Devi. ओम शांति ओम शांति ज्ञान को समझ कहते हैं वी कॉल नॉलेज एज अंडरस्टैंडिंग समझ और वी कॉल नॉलेज एज अ पावर सो वी हैव टू बिकम वाइज एंड आल्सो मास्टर अलमाइटी अथॉरिटी आवर फादर इज ओशन ऑफ नॉलेज and we also have to become master ocean of knowledge when baba remembers us with lots of love and also sings a praise through heart because baba makes everything clear and makes us understand and when we imbibe those things in our knowledge, in our life our life also becomes elevated as i understand there is only one supreme father who talks about purity everyone understand that it is not possible to live a life of purity and a life of impurity is a normal there are many different organization in the world so they say that it's okay if you get into vices once then it's fine but baba say no it creates our sanskar if you do it once then it becomes our sanskar if you do it once then twice or three times then it becomes our habit it becomes our nature so it is completely in contrast if they are a psychologist or the religious people so they always say that just take it out you get into the wise completely experience and take it out from within you and then then you will realize that the, all the vices are gone but other side baba say that no children become body conscious become um soul conscious become humble egoless so baba explains it so so clearly and we also have got a natural power through this knowledge so today also baba is saying that what is another definition of purity for example if somebody is vegetarian or somebody who pays a lot of attention to their own body so if they are sub a lot of different kind of a variety but they will eat only the one which is good for their health 
Many people are that they eat because of that taste, that it is very tasty. But those who are wise, they eat only that that is good for their health. So like uh, similarly, so purity, so the pavitra, uh, like a uh, purity is like a uh, purity through eyes, through your mind, through ear, through your heart. So in the world, every step, there are so many things either we see or we hear because the atmosphere is of all the vices people sit and talk about the vices so it's like uh, you know even even through eyes it's like it feed us those impurities are feeding us and once we we see it then it goes within us and then we want our mind to be calm to be peaceful but if our mind is not pure then how our mind will be if will be very pure and without any vices. So today Baba is saying that the purity of the Brahmin life, we have to adopt such a personality that your energy, your time and your thoughts all continue to be used in a worthwhile way. Nothing should be wasted. If we see here and there, listen here and there, we hear, then we talk. These sanskars are not a pure sanskar. Then Baba saying that we should not keep our mind and intellect busy in tribal matters. Something like this happened, something said like this, it should not happen like this. Those are the tribal matters. So, so hearing such things of impurities, we do not listen to them and we do not see. So nowadays, practically, we see what not is happening in the world. And then we see that on the TV, television or we see that on the social media. So there are many brothers and sisters, they say that we don't see all that. Then what happens? One develop interest. So the, so the things about impurity, one should not see, but do not see. So it's like there are certain things for which we do not have connection. Then you see it, but do not see it. Many people have so much interest. Then what happened? Then what happened? Then what happened? Then Baba said that such things you see, but do not see. Like, for example, when you're walking along the way, but if you see something which is of not connection, then you see it, but do not see it. Just consider it as a sight scene and just go beyond. So in same way, whatever you hear, whatever you see, if it is of no use to you, listen, but do not hear, see, but do not see. So many people observe more, they remain in silence. They, they follow this uh, discipline. Then what they do? They just sit and watch movies because they have to pass their time. So they feel hungry. So, so there is no purity of their mind and heart. So the purity does not happen only because of following one, one day fasting. Either it is Gyanendri or the Karmendri, any senses. But our senses are involved in impurity, even though we are fasting for a day. So all this goes in waste. So if we take all these impurities within us, then we have to remove it also. 
so it will take a lot of efforts to remain in silence because whatever we have seen whatever we have heard it will keep emerging it will come in front of your eyes and then lot of wastage will keep going in your mind so that's why baba say that one has to pay a lot of attention there is one example also about monkeys like see no evil talk no evil and hear no evil then baba also say that think no evil if you don't if you will not think then nothing will happen ahead so everyone will pay attention to this and do the homework and you all will also have a very good experiences om shanti Om Shanti, Avyakta Murli Revision from 1969, speaking to the heart of an angel. Avyaktavani, Avyaktamurli, the date is 26th October 1971. The basis of our karmas is our attitude. If you constantly had this slogan in your awareness, would your attitude then become mischievous? A child will only become mischievous when he is free so the attitude also becomes mischievous when you lack the awareness of such a great task if a very mischievous child is kept busy and yet does not let go of his mischievous behavior then what method would be used there is still the complaint that even though you try to keep your attitude busy in remembrance and knowledge it still becomes mischievous so what should you then do just as you try to restrain a mischievous child with some type of bondage whether the physical bondage or using loving words to tempt him into some attainment in the same way you will have to tie your intellect and your thoughts with one or another bondage what is the bondage what is the bondage check where your intellect goes and then transform those worldly things into spiritual things then after comparing the worldly thing then transform those worldly things into spiritual things then after comparing the worldly things with the spiritual imperishable things keep the spiritual imperishable things in your awareness when the attitude of a bodily being is mischievous then in whatever relationship there is mischief experience that particular relationship with the eternal father in a practical way for example if your attitude is mischievous in relationship of the household then attain the alokic experience of this relationship from the father who fulfills all the relationships when whatever was lacking is fulfilled you will become free from mischief do you understand 
if you have all relationships and all attainments from the one father would your intellect be mischievous towards any others so the biggest bondage of having all relationships with one is that you have to restrain your mischievous attitude with the bondage of having all relationship with the father all types of mischief will easily finish you will then be able uh, you will then be unable to see any other relationship or any other attainment and so where could your attitude be drawn to tie yourself as is re remembered in the example of sita being ordered to stay within the line drawn for her in the same way while taking every step or creating any thought consider yourself to be within the line drawn by the father if you go outside the line even in your thoughts then wasteful thoughts will attack you constantly stay within the line that has been drawn for you then you will remain constantly safe and no sanskar of ravan will attack you you will not waste your time again and again in finishing little things there be neither be any attack nor will your time be wasted again and again for this constantly remember your order you have come to this party in order to become such a obedient children have you not therefore return with this practice so that you do not have even one thought which is not within the order the tilak of being such a obedient children should constantly be applied to your awareness apply this tilak and then we shall see who claims the first number who will claim the first prize in adopting this tilak acha om shanti